so we're refinishing these cabinets. I'm going to uh, milk paint them. I ran into a problem getting it off the wall though. The 35 year old screws were not installed right and they stripped out. I've got a uh, 9 16 hole and I can only create a half inch plug. I gotta go get some dowels. I'll show you how to fill this. It's not gonna be perfect, but it'll uh, be sufficient for a painted medicine cabinet. <clears throat> and we'll discuss proper filling technique later. What I'm gonna do here isn't exactly proper, it's functional. I'll tell you the difference when we get back. Time to go to Home Depot, get some hardwood dowel. Okay, here we are at the local Home Depot, looking at the oak dowels. We have half inch, five eighths, no nine sixteenths. I've already got a half inch plug, and I know the five eighths is too big, so, well, I can either wallow the hole out, or I can reduce that five eighths, but I can't make the half inch grow. Okay, while well, the auger bits I have aren't Bosch, I do have a 5 8 it's a speed bore max, it's designed a little bit like this where it has a pilot head and then it augers in, except it's a twist drill, not a spade bit under it. That's uh, not going to work because I've already got a hole there. Let's see if I can't find a 5 8 bit. Uh, Alright. 5 8 twist drill bit, black iron. A little more than I wanted to spend, but certainly less expensive than the titanium nitride uh, Milwaukee's, so this will have to do. Okay, so there's the hole. That's a 916 hole, and uh, unfortunately, the only stock I could find or make is 5 8s. That's why we got the 5 8 drill bit. First thing we got to do is out of this piece of red oak, slice off a chunk of it. Let's make our dowel plug out of So I don't think I actually want to use a dowel. I think I want to use a proper plug so I've got the grain orientation going the right way. There's the stock I'm going to make the plug out of. We're securing it to the bench with our quick clamps. We've got a sacrificial piece under it. And there's our 5 8 dowel plug cutter. Plug cutter, well, plug cutter, not dowel cutter. Center it up as best we can with the grain. Sorry, the clutch was on. And there we go. We now have hmm. one five eighths by three quarters red oak plug. Okay, this bit shank is a half inch, which is far too big for my uh, full three eighths inch drill. So what I'm going to have to do is back this up and come at it from the other side with my half inch hammer drill. I'll of course have the hammer action turned off. Let me show you how that's done. Take your sacrificial piece. You're going to need another one on the back side here. 
so you've got something to clamp to and then come at it with your clamp. Alright, I don't know if you can see that but the hole is kind of uncovered over here. So the idea behind the sacrificial piece is to have something for the drill bit to go out into once it penetrates. See in there. Yep. And all I got is wood grain on this side. Okay. Now I chuck it up, power up this drill, and we'll come at it from the other direction. Drill is chucked up. Hammer action is turned off. Drill is going the direction I want to go. So we just... For the hole. If I haven't mentioned it before, I will say this much. I don't care what anybody says, that Harbor Freight half inch hammer drill is one powerful little beast. Now, we've got the plug. I don't know if you can see. Come on, focus. Okay, that's the way the, the grain is going. The grain in the cabinet is going this way. So we want it to match. We're going to be a shave proud on both sides. Well, we're going to be a shave proud on the inside and a lot proud on the outside. We're going to trim this with our Japanese pull saw. For now, tight bond three. And we simply spread the glue around. You can use a glue brush for this. I figure the good Lord gave me a finger for a reason. Alright. And again, we want the green to line up as best we can. It's not going to be perfect. But it'll do. Okay. Right now, I'm just going to put a sacrificial backer. So I got it as even as I can. All right. We let that dry. The plug's in. It's dry. But you can see it's definitely proud of the uh, surface. I'm going to use some Japanese-style pull saw. And that uh, is the name cut. Uh, suggests we're going to pull what this is going to do. It's a flush cutting saw. And we're just going to ride the blade right along the box. There we go. Now this is going to be hidden inside a wall, so I'm not going to bother sanding that side down. However, this side here is going to be exposed. So, we're going to hit it with the sander briefly. No, we're not, because that's the uh, flush. I'm going to have to hit that with blocks in. And, uh, hell, you know what? I'm just going to leave that. Call it character. Okay. Well, now we get after this sucker with paint.
that's one box and one door. We're going to let this paint dry. We're going to wash this brush out even though it's a disposable brush. The whole idea behind using a disposable brush is we're wanting with what I'm doing here, <clears throat> we're going for a very rustic look. So we're wanting the brush strokes. We want those lines. Disposable brush is probably the best way to do that. So we'll let it set up, see what the paint does. Hopefully, I'll be able to reinstall this thing tonight. Okay, the paint's dry and we're reinstalled in the wall. The original holes are fine. You see, I had to re drill and countersink. And there's our plug. It's not going anywhere. <clears throat> All right. Well, that cabinet and that cabinet are done. Now I get to start working on painting the lowers. If you like my videos, remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to go back into the old catalog by clicking my channel and then clicking on the videos link. There's lots of decent stuff back there you may be interested in. And like I always say to you folks, be busy, be productive, be safe, but most of all, be blessed. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.